When I was a little girl, I wanted to be an actress. However, I noticed that nobody really resembled my looks, so I wanted to be a model to represent those who look like me. I figured that a reporter would be a great combination of both. That way I can still be on TV, represent, and like my model says, make a message out of the messes. So when I got my diploma, I was like... But when I turned 25, I realized that I wasn't living my dream. In fact, I kind of forgot what my dream was. On top of that, it took like two years to do this video, so I'm not even 25 anymore. <laughs> but I still wanted to get this done because one of my goals, one of my birthday goals, is to be the best that I can be, not give up on myself, and just do it even if I don't have the resources as of yet. So I figured I wasn't alone, so I sat down with some people to learn about their experience as a 25-year-old. Check it out. By now, I honestly thought I was going to have my second home. I thought I was going to work in some big company, be some type of uh, budget analyst or something. Yeah, como era tu vida? Pues, no tan mal. So, before I turned 25, I thought I would, by the time I turned 25, I should say, I thought I would be where I want to be physically. Um, I thought I would, I don't know, I can't really say that I thought about it, like, per se, but I at least figured I'd have something figured out like I can't even figure out my sentence that's how behind I feel <laughs> I'm an accountant I'm a, <laughs> I'm an accountant I don't travel for my job I probably travel once a year for my job <laughs> But at the age of 25, I started off traveling. That was good. Um, I believe after I turned, like maybe two weeks or so, after I turned, I conceived. Um, and yeah, that's what I mainly spent my time as a 25-year-old, being pregnant. And I also did some, no, but most importantly, I did do something good. It wasn't all that, like, uh. Yeah, nothing, nothing is really happening at all. I haven't owned a home yet. And that's one of the downsides of it. Una profesora de psicología, Vitalia Silva, una vez me encontró y me dijo, tú siempre estás seria. Tú nunca te ríes. Tú siempre estás amargada. No, la persona es que estás feliz. Y no importa las condiciones que tú estés viviendo. Pero no, tienes que ser feliz. I mean, I had my plans, but God had his own, and my life has been written out before I even turned 25. My life has been written out for me in the books that I can't reach just yet, and so I'm not going to be upset anymore um, because I understand that this is just how it needs to be. Like, um, this is part of the story, so I can't complain anymore. I've learned that. You can say it all you want, but if you don't take like the initial step to do it, it's never gonna get done. It's just all smoke. Si tú estás amargada, llama amargamiento. Si estás triste, llama tristeza. The best advice I can give is to stop wasting time. If there's a goal you want to accomplish, an idea you thought of, or a project you want to do, just do it today. Don't wait until you have so-and-so money to do it. Don't wait for the sun to come out tomorrow for you to get started. Just start at least with like a list a to-do list or else you'll be like me or you thought of an idea two years ago and you're just not working on it it's ridiculous <laughs> but um thank you so much for tuning in you've been watching reality tv and look out for the next episode thanks <laughs>